All right, in this video, what we're gonna show is how to get our battery to our distribution board, which we've already set, but how do we get that power from here into our motor over here and have control over it? So, what we're gonna do is we are going to interconnect, all right, interconnect our speed controller and our receiver to make that happen. So, the first thing we need to understand is looking at our speed controller, just as a reminder, we have battery in, battery out in terms of the power piece here. And so we're interconnecting this power panel because we might have more of these or a different version of these depending on what kind of robot we're building and what we're trying to accomplish. When we're looking at this electronic speed controller, we want to look at our different connectors. So we have negative and positive. Black is always negative. Red is always positive. We're going to take this and we're going to take this to a circuit that has um, that has power. So what we're going to do is we're going to check that just to make sure that we're taking it to a circuit that has power. And yep, so this first piece we have a breaker in and we're, we have power, so we're going to make sure of that. And we're going to connect that and push this into here. Easy indicator light, hey, we've got power. Okay, so there's our power, we're ready to go. Okay, now we're getting to the point where we're going to talk about this lead is going to go to this motor and we need to be able to have control of this and that's what this controller is going to do. So we have negative and positive and now we're going to take it to this motor and you'll notice that we have our black lead right here. Okay, it's nice, it's set, it's inside there and then we have our red lead. Okay. Couple of pro tip things that happen here is loosen that up, push this inside here, okay? And what you're gonna notice is my wire is too long, and you see this exposed wire right here, that can lead to a short circuit. So, what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we have this braided wire and we cut it down so that we're able to, so I'm gonna use this cutter right here underneath this off camera because I wanna make sure that I don't get any filings on my electronic speed controller. Wire filings on electronic speed controllers can be the death of a robot. So you wanna make sure that that's cut down. You're gonna insert that inside that housing. Sometimes a little spin will help you get that in there with the, with the wire braids. You're gonna turn this down like this, nice and tight. And now you've got that inside there. One pro tip, the first time you're wiring it up, I'd keep it braided so that you're able to, because you might need to do some trimming and things like that. Once you've got everything done correctly, cut to the right lengths and everything, I would consider soldering the wire so that you have um, the, wi the wires, the braids, if you're taking them in and out, they don't um, come unfurled and then you've got little short opportunity, short circuit opportunities. So you may consider soldering the tips in terms of the ends of these wires and then inserting them. Okay, so we're gonna take this, we're gonna connect it to that motor. And now we have this circuit wired up where we've got the battery, we've got the power distribution panel, we've got our motor. And now we want to have control over that motor. So we have to do a couple of things. One, okay, when you're looking at this in terms of our PWM cables, you'll notice on the end here we have our 5 volt because we're going to have power. And then you're going to have uh, S1 and S2, which is basically service 1 and service 2 in terms of which one you're going to be doing. So service 2 is going to take us to motor 2. Service 1 is going to take us to motor one, and then this provides us a five volt battery source for, or power source, for our receiver, for our controller. So what we're gonna do is, depending on how we want to run that motor, we're gonna connect it to our receiver. So our receiver has a couple of different options um, in terms of setting this up, and starting at the top, you have auxiliary one, you have gear, 
you have rudder, you have elevator, you have aileron, and you have throttle, and then you have a binding data port. Um, these are for uh, aircraft controllers, so they have uh, multiple channels. What you have to remember is like gear is either going to be up or down. Um, rudders and elevators and ailerons and throttles are going to be um, back and forth on a continuum, like 100%, 0%, and then you know it could be 59%, whereas gear is going to be on or off. You're either going to lower the gear, you're going to have the gear up, you're not going to have the gear halfway in between. So you don't want to use gear as your, your opportunity. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make sure that we're putting this together, right? So I'm going to put uh, channel one on rudder. I'm just going to slide that in there like this. I'm going to put channel two on aileron like this. Oops, make sure I get that in there. And I'm going to take this five power and I'm going to put that into auxiliary so I'm able to put the power on. And I'm, I'm leaving space in between so that I can easily get them in and out. Um, eventually, I might need to move them around a little bit. Not the power one, but I've left, the, I've left some space so that I can easily pull these in and out if necessary, which will be necessary. The last spot that we need to do here, okay, is I'm going to take the power off of the power distribution panel. Normally what we would have is that we'd have a switch in the positive here. Um, and so we don't have that for this setup yet. Um, so I'm going to turn, unplug it so that I can take this. And I'm going to take what we call the binding plug. And we are going to put that into the binding plug port. Okay. And what we're going to do is when we're setting up a when we're setting up a, a, mo a motor system like this or a robot, the first thing you always do is you turn on the robot. So that's going to be plugging this in right now. And there's a small flashing light. You can see that right there. All right. So this receiver is asking for a signal from a controller. And we're going to bring in our controller. And there's a binding switch right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure everything is zeroed off. Zero, zero, zero. Everything's off. We're going to make sure that our controls are zeroed out. We're going to pull up the binding plug and turn on the power. Okay. And you see that it's blinking. I'm going to give it a count of six, seven. And you heard that twitch and that beep. And now, okay, I have control over this motor. Okay, I have control over this motor by, and I'm going to hold this. All right, so I have control over this motor by simply, okay, so I have zeroed out here. And this is simply because I chose that it's on this joystick based on what controller I put this on. Okay, so I have control over this motor. I want it barely moving. I want it full open. Okay, I want it running the opposite direction. Go forward and back. But this is not doing me anything. So I have this on this rudder control right here. So left and right, that's what I've got going on. Okay. I may want to change that around for ease, okay? At this point I can pull out the binding plug because that's not necessary anymore because I don't want a different controller to take over control of my robot. If I leave the binding plug in, a random controller could be bound to this computer or to this controlling system. The order of operations, robot goes on, controller goes on, controller goes off, robot goes off, okay? Then, Robot goes on, controller goes on, and you saw that twitch, okay, that twitch, we've got control of this again, all right? And nothing's mounted here, so everything's able to move. So I wanna make sure that you can see, we've got a wiggle bot situation going on. So mounting your motors is gonna be really important um, for this to work, okay? 
then we got this going on. So again, if I want that to stop, controller off, motor off, and we're good to go. So that's kind of a long video, but it talks about the entire control system, how to set it up, how to get going, how to get motor control. Um, really quick and easy. If you have any questions, as always, ask. On to the next video.